Star Medal. Authorized by executive order February 4th, 1944. It is presented by a grateful nation for heroism. This particular medal you see here wasn't given to a flyer, nor to an infantryman. It wasn't given to a paratrooper. It was given to a truck driver. That's right, Mac. They gave it to me, a truck driver. A worn out, dirty, lonesome, homesick, road sick, back sick, seat sick truck driver. They gave it to yours truly. But it was like picking a number out of a hat. Because I was any one of 25,000 guys. The guys who loaded, mechanic, patrolled, and drove the Red Ball Express. I carried your bag, sir at Pennsylvania Station. I went eight rounds with Mickey Tate in Omaha. Drove you in a cab once from the Loop to the north side, Chicago. Served you boiled beef and dumplings in Tallahassee. And me? I drove a truck all over the lot, from the Statue of Liberty to the Golden Gate. But I never thought then I'd be behind a wheel in France on the Red Ball Express. What's that? What's the Red Ball Express? What's the matter, Mac? Where were you? Oh, that's right. You were back home. Back home. Well, back home, a red ball painted on a freight car means priority. Clear the tracks. We're coming through. And in France, from the beaches of Normandy clear across to the front lines past Paris, a red disc above the bumper meant we were coming through. One way, all the way. The Red Ball Express. That's right, sir. We deliver. Everything but babies. Yeah, we were there when the Allied armies went across France. And you know how they went. But without us, without trucks, they'd have been holed up right back in Normandy. You see, we had no French ports or French railroads. They'd been blasted to ribbons by our planes. There was only one way to supply those armies. Trucks. Trucks. Plenty of them strafed and sniped at by the Nazis. Yeah, without trucks to bring them gas, Patton's tanks couldn't move. Without trucks to bring them shells and food and bullets, Bradley's infantry couldn't fight. Without trucks, winning the Battle of France in miracle time would have been impossible. We passed through the towns, Chartres, Bernil, Drox, Mortagny, Argentan, Swasps. Okay, you pronounce them. Tell me we went by famous museums, cathedrals, castles. <laughs> Brother, all I saw was highway. We drove in good weather. We drove through floods. We drove through the day into the night. 20 hours of driving without relief. 400 miles in a day and a half, what would normally take a week. Out of the night, end of the day. Our orders were maintain a 40 mile an hour average. What's that? What happens if you do less? Court martial, mister, unless you got an awful good excuse. 
What happens if your tires give out, if your brakes jam, if you have an accident? Then just get that truck off the highway, friend. Get it off or burn it. We drove the biggest vehicles this side of Hoboken and that side of Moscow. Count them. 14 tires. Count them. 18 tires. This was the greatest road show since Barnum and Bailey. Yeah, you really saw why you needed those trucks on a cross-country race like this. Every last one of them. There were plenty of worn down vehicles, burned out tires. Plenty of repairs. And because trucks meant the lives of a lot of soldiers up front, we had to repair the ones we could fast. So a line of service stations were set up all along the roads. A different one for every kind of trouble. This was precision planning, Mac. Repairs for the drivers, too. Gather round, bud. Warm up. Cold rod ahead. But even when we were stopped, the red ball was moving on. It never stopped. Somewhere along the road, trucks were always being loaded. Somewhere along that turnpike, MPs were always shooing the traffic through. Somewhere the radio trucks were always directing the movements. Somewhere at the end of the route, the equipment was always being delivered. That's the point, Mac. Somewhere the stuff was always moving up, always being loaded, always being shipped, always being made. I toted the oil, sir, that you pumped out of Pennsylvania and Oklahoma. There were days and nights I loaded nothing but medical supplies. Mine were ammo trucks. Carried the shells you turned out in the arsenals. I moved everything, everything I ever dreamed of. Everything, Mac. Everything the guys in the front lines needed, we moved. The Red Ball Express delivered. I delivered, you delivered. 220,000 gallons of gas in a day. 700,000 different items. A million tons of cargo in three months. Red Ball Line ends. The improved French railroads obviate truck service. Paris, November 25th, Associated Press. The United States Army Transportation Corps announced today that the Red Ball Highway System that sped ammunition, food, and other supplies from the beachheads to the western fronts for 81 days would be discontinued because of improved rail facilities. Yeah. It's discontinued, that one. But this one isn't. This one isn't. This one isn't. This one isn't. Here's your Red Ball Express, Mac. From the factory to the port of embarkation. Keep them rolling. We can use every truck and every tire you send us. <laughs>